Hello and welcome to the lesson 17 of Make Stories 101 course. In this course, we are going to learn how you can link your elements to an external URL using Make Stories. So suppose we have this particular text element and we want to link it to an external URL. So web stories work in two different ways. First, we will try to understand what these two ways of linking are. So the first way is called one click link and the second option is called two click links. So anything that goes into the below 20% of your web story will go into the one click link and anything up in the above 80% will be the two click links. Now I will show you an example uh, of this to make it more clear. How, how to link is something that we will see later, but right now I will quickly give you a quick overview of what is one click and two click URLs. So now you can see that I have linked this particular URL to an, uh, this particular text element to an external URL. So we will try to preview this. Here we can see that the moment I hover my cursor on this text element, it changes to a hand. This means that this particular text element is linked to an external URL. Now, when I click this, you can see that there is a tooltip. And when you click the tooltip, it will open the URL that you want the story to go to. So this is called a two click link. Now this is a two click link because it is in the top 80%. Google or the AMP uh, development team calls this as a tooltip. So if you are searching online for documentation on linking your elements in a web story, you will probably find it under tooltip. The second option that they have is called call to action buttons. So I will link this call to action button from here. Now you can see that this particular call to action button is in the bottom 20%. So now if you click this, it will directly go to the URL that you want. So now if you have understood what is the difference between two clicks and one clicks, we will proceed with the uh, ways of doing that in make stories. Now let's say I have this element, I have added another text element and I will say visit www.youtube.com and I will center align this. Now all I want to do is whenever someone clicks this, I want them to go to YouTube. Now since now depending on where you want this text, you will be uh, keeping it as a two click link or a one click link. So now since this particular uh, text element is in the top 80%, it will be a two click link. Now to make it easier for our users, what we have did is irrespective of where you place the uh, text element or any element in the uh, make stories canvas, we will automatically change it to two click or one click. So right now we can see that this particular uh, text element is in the top 80%. Now, irrespective of whether it is in top 80 or uh, below 20%, if you are linking any element, all you have to do is you have to open this tab over here, which says on click here, you will find an option that says open link. And here you will enter the URL that you want this to be linked. Now I will write visit youtube.com. Now we will just click on save changes and we will preview it. Now when I click this, you can see that there is this web icon. Uh, Make sure it automatically fetches this web icon from the website. If it is there, if it's not there, then you will have to uh, enter select the uh, icon. So suppose I and you to select that you will have to click this thumbnail and the media library will open and you have to select the icon that you want and you can use that.
Now what we will do is we will drag this element into the bottom 20%. Now if you want to understand what is the where does the bottom 20% start from, in that case I will say you that our canvas size is 600 pixels. So 600 pixels into 20% which is 120 pixels. So we will deduct 120 pixels from 600 which comes to 480 pixels. So somewhere over here we have 480 pixels. So now we have this area over here. So anything that goes from here to here will be converted into one click link automatically. Now I have saved this and I will preview. You can see that now when I click this, it directly opens the URL. We don't have to wait for the tooltip to appear and then click it. Now we are to answer another question that we receive a lot that which elements can be linked. So from now on, you can link any element. It can be an image. It can be a text element. It can be a group. So let's say, let's try to form a group of an image and a text element. So we have this image over here. I will resize it and I will form a group. Now I click this, oh sorry, I think the group has not. Okay, so the group has been created. Now I click the group and I will click open URL. And we will link this to makestories.io. So here you can see that the makestories.io fav icon has been automatically fetched by the makestories UI. Okay, now I will click on unsaved changes and I will preview this. And you can see when I click this, it shows me the URL where I have to go. Now this, this is done and now we will even ungroup this. So here you can link any element that you want. But what if you want to have buttons like you have on the website? To do that, you have to go into the Layers tab and over there you will find an option that says Add Call to Action or CTA button. You, you will click this and here you will be having an option that says click here. So this is a predefined button that makes stories adds it in the UI for you. Now I will write here. Now you can edit this by clicking double clicking this and writing I will say visit www.makestories.io okay so I will write here makestories.io and then we have two options in the right that is said CTA settings and the another one that says CTA designs we will first in look into CTA designs so here we have various CTA actions that are pre-built so you can use one of these buttons or if you want to change the appearance then you can go into the appearance tag and you can change the colors as you wish. This is the color for the text and the name here the background as the name suggests is for changing the background of your call to action button. Again you can control the radius, border radius using the border radius element. You can change this to 30 pixels to make it circular and then you can add border and you can do or you can apply all these options now the another option that you have is the cta settings so suppose if you have added a call to action button and now you want to link it a good thing about the call to action button is that you have two options you can link to an external url if you want to do that, all you have to do is you have to enter the link of the website in this particular text box. Okay. And it will link to that particular URL. Now suppose if you want to do an interlinking. So let's say our web story has nine slides. Now what I want to do is whenever someone clicks on this, I want to take them to visit slide 7 okay and then I, over here I will select the option of slide 7 and I will save this 
Now, when you preview this, you will see that it says slide 7. And when I click on this, it takes me to the slide 7. Good thing about this is that now when you will click back, it won't go to slide 6. It will go to slide number 3 from where the user was taken. So this is a good option that AMP Stories or Web Stories comes with. So these are the ways you can link your element to an external URL inside Make Stories.